What's up guys, Reed and Will here. We're on the mats, check this. Let me see if you can get down with this. Lately, I have been obsessing over this loop choke. The, one of my favorite chokes in Jiu Jitsu. It puts people to sleep. It comes on so quick, right? I like this position right here, this, this knee shield position, and I, I get this deep, deep collar grip. You know what, if I can keep guys at bay, maybe come up on my elbow, they like to sometimes come back into me and smash into me. And that's where I can sit up, scoot out a little bit, grab the head. Here, Roberto Jimenez, he, he was throwing the leg over. <coughs> that's a brutal one, right? You can feel it? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> all right, all right. So, like I said, I've been trying to hit it on all my training partners lately. So I want to go back through the archives and check out my top five favorite loop chokes. Coming in at number five, Roberto Jimenez, semifinals, Purple Belt Absolute Division, the 2018 World Championships. This was a heavyweight versus an ultra heavyweight, kind of like a, a David and Goliath situation almost, right? Even though he was losing the match, he came back from a deficit, he slapped on the loop choke, and he finished the fight. <laughs> Will, you were there for this one. What do you remember most about this loop choke? Man, like you said, he was down on points in the match, and he comes back. He's in a bad position, too. In a bad position, comes back, gets the loop choke. This saved him the gold medal. The loop choke earned him a gold medal. This was a crazy performance from Roberto Jimenez. And at number four, one of my favorite loop chokers in the business, none other than Nicholas Marigali. We talk about this guy all the time. I'm gonna go all the way back to 2016 Europeans before Nicholas got his black belt. He was still a brown belt. Let's take a look at this one. It's crazy. So I believe this is this is from his division at, at Europeans, and this is the same type of choke he tried to hit on Lucas Leitch, where he dives on top on this loop choke. Look at this, he's, he's still got it, he's still got it. The guy tries to defend it, he's out. Wow. He's out. He, try, he stands up to defend the loop choke, and he goes out. That's how quick these chokes can come on, man. It's crazy. And at number three, another prolific loop choker, Chamil Karahan. This is all the way back in the 2017 medium heavy division at the uh, European Championships. Another crazy loop choke. Let's check it out. So what's great about this one, man, is it's right off the bat. He shoots in for a takedown, and Shamil is looking for this loop choke already. Five seconds into the match. He passes, he goes underneath these legs right here. That's kind of different, right? Totally. He doesn't give up on it. He never stops until he goes unconscious. And this was a big deal, a big moment for Chamil. You can see him celebrating there. My third favorite loop choke goes to Chamil Karahan. He calls it actually the Kurdish necktie. A little different. A little different. I like that. <laughs> Coming in at number two, another legendary loop choke. This one happened in 2017, the IBJJF Pan Jiu Jitsu Championships. This submission is going to live on in infamy. This one was crazy. I remember this one like it was yesterday. Keishinho versus Marcio Andre. This is another instance where Marcio Andre was, was winning the match. He was winning the entire fight, right? Yep. And then at the at the very end, last few minutes, uh, Marcio Andre came up on a single leg uh, from, from a sweeping position, and Keishinho capitalized with a loop choke for the ages. Oh! Big loop choke attempt there from Keishinho. Marcio Andre scrambling, I hope that, that is tight. He's out! Oh. He's out! <laughs> this one's crazy because the one thing about the loop choke is you never know when it's coming. And before you know it, you're face down on the mat. Such an effective choke. Now, my number one favorite loop choke I've ever seen is got to be Alessandre Vieira at the Tokyo Grand Slam last year, right? This one's crazy. It's the most savage loop choke ever. This is the most savage loop choke. It's one I remember when I was watching this on the stream. My, my mouth was was on the floor, basically. Oh, yeah. what, do you, what do you like most about this one right here? I Let's... think what's most interesting about this one is the way he sets it up. You can see he kind of lets the guy pass his guard, and he's already got the loop choke in place. Man, it's so sneaky. So sneaky how he sets it up. He kind of lets the guy pass, keeps the collar, and then just, just like Chamil there, he comes underneath, grabs the leg, but this time 
He stands him up. I'd never see it like that. And then he lets his lifeless body Insane. back down to the mat. Never knew what hit him. He's out long before he got slapped on the mat. But there you have it. My five favorite loop chokes in jiu-jitsu. What do you think about them? What do you think? You think I got it wrong? You think I got it right? we will never know. But I look forward to you guys loop choking all your partners on the mats these next couple weeks. Let us know what you thought in the comments below. See y'all later. What are you doing? What are you doing? Uh, uh. Breathe. Breathe.